Okay, pilots. I'm going to show you how I put my navigation lights in my F-35. Now, what I've done here, you see this panel, the panel line right here, kind of looks like this one over here, but smaller, a little bit smaller. So I've kind of cut my odd shaped hole there in it. Okay. And I've took flat lines P38 LED cover. Okay. That sits on the outside of the wing like like you know like so. Alright, and I've cut it in kind of that odd little shape. Cut it and trimmed it there. This is the bottom of the wing. So I'm gonna have that and it's gonna be put right there over top of it. After I get the light put in it. Okay. Uh-oh. Okay. I've got the hole cut. Alright, now. Now I've also ordered the P38 LED light set which comes with two navigation lights one landing light and then it's got that triple light red yellow and green light now note how it's got bulbs on both sides of it there so you can insert it in the wing to be shining through the top and the bottom of the wing okay but that's got a pretty good size square base on it there, notice that. And I got a smaller hole in that base, so I got to make my hole just a little bit bigger. And where my lead's going, now this right here, this panel right here, you see the square cut out right here. I hope you can see that. No, I can't see it at all. From the factory, it's got a spar covered up right there. That's where the spar is at. You slide your spar bar in it. So I'm going to have my LED lead coming up through here just straight up with the black facing up. And I'm going to use that same scene and just come down here and then bring it over here and join it in with where the servo lead comes through. But i got to make this hole just a little bit bigger. Now what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to cut this in a, like a 45 degree angle. And see if I can maneuver that thing down into the hole. So I'm looking at cutting straight down right here. The 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 panel line kind of makes a triangle, but then it's and it, and it goes to a square, then it comes to a smaller triangle. So where it goes into a square is pretty much the very thing I need to do is stay on that square. So first I'm gonna go here to the outside. I'll cut that about halfway down through there because I only want it to go about halfway. And just square that off. That line to go in there. I'm trying to make that bottom cut now with as least of an angle as I could. that piece out. Okay. 
Now the other side, I'm going to try to cut here in an angle. That's what's looking like so far. Nope, it's still looking square here on this side, but I still got that oval look on this side because I cut in a 45 degree angle and tried to make that squared out in the inside. That way I can stick the side in here first and then maybe slide it down in this way <clears throat> to where I won't have to cut as much out of it. First of all, we're just going to test fit because I hadn't cut the slits for the leads. But I just want to see if that's going to go in that hole. I might have to even cut it more. Yep, just a higher more. Let's see, I'm going to have to get to the back because that bud's not lining up with the dead center. You want your bud to be right in the center, so what I've done is I'm looking at where I've cut it at the front. And then at the back and looking where the bub is, the bub needs to be just a little bit more back. So I'm going to trim on the back side here to get the bub to go that way. Trying to get a 45 down here on this side. Get out of there. Down into that corner the, as far as I can. And I'm going to lay it down. Try not to push too much on that little control board.
went, slid right in the spot there, snapped right in. And it went, but that bug right there is pointing wrong for some reason. It's pointing wrong. I believe it's on the mount. I believe it's on the mount wrong there. On the other side. Because that one's dead center just about. gonna leave it just like that. We're gonna leave it like that. I can tell one thing I need to do though. I need to touch up my green a little bit. I, they wasn't they wasn't died pilots, so I went ahead and put a little bit of Sharpie on it. lead. I'm going to bury my lead. And I'm just going to, if I could have took this, if I could take that panel off, say I got the jet in a kit version or something, just out of the blue, just out of the blue, you know, just thinking, you know, you could put that lead up under there and be gone, you know. So we're going to make this go straight out into a straight Line. Come out here. And I'm just going to line it up with that panel right there if I can. There we go. I'm going to run that blade down that panel just to get the glue separated there on that panel, maybe on the edge. Alright. I'm gonna take an owl, small owl, and I'm just gonna give that, that cut there a little bit of a opening. Spread it open right a little bit. I like to move the owl in the direction that the lead's gonna be going down through. Now where a lead is separated from, you know, the casing split there, you might as well just put one in at a time. Get it up right wherever it's starting to split, then you can get them both in. Taking a little small straight head screwdriver and pushing that lead down in there. I like to leave my black lead up so it's kind of Makes it look like a shadow there instead of a red line. Now you coming across a red decal or something like that, you put your red up. Hey, what, what the heck? Go about three or four inches and then go back and, and make sure you got enough a lead to push it down in there. You don't want to get it so tight you can't get the lead to go into it. You know, pilot, you try not to push down too hard on it, uh, on this foam, you know what I mean? You're just you're getting that lead started down into that channel. Now what I'm gonna have to do at the end Down here. See it 
Notice how it pulled that lead down. Now let's go back down here. And get this going. Now sometimes I've seen foam pilots. This line would just, I mean the foam would just expand back out and cover that right back up and make it look like it wasn't even ever there. do like I said on the end here if the the hole for the servo lead don't line up you know I, I might just have to cut a slit over here to make this come over here to where it lines up right with the servo lead but nine times out of ten I can get that in right there but what I'm gonna have to do here is I'm gonna have to put an extension on this because these these you know you got a little bit of wire to get up to the cop the cockpit you know for the hookups but I don't know. I'm going to have to put it on there and see. But there it is, pilots. Now all I've got to do is what I might do. I don't know. If it, if it takes a lot of trouble, I might not do it. But I might cut it and just kind of take the paint off of the foam around that edge to where maybe that'll, that'll kind of lay in there a little bit deep and, and be flush See? but that's what it's going to look like kind of like, like that right there and be able to shine through both sides so there's the navigation lights now the vertical, the verticals, okay, hang with me here just a little bit long, this is going to be, this is going to be the left, the right side vertical, so I'm going to put the leads on the same side that the servo lead is on, I'm going to put my light right here, right in front of the decal. I don't want to get into the decal, so it's going to be right in front of the decal. And this spar, that's actually a spar right there, a spar right here. And where it goes through that decal, I have to go through the decal, and I note the decal is red. I might put my red lead facing up right here, and, and what I might do is... I might go into the servo right here and follow that down this way. Stop right here at the spar, go across, and then follow that seam. But I'll have a little bit of my red lead sticking up right there, see there, Pops? That way, that'll be a, as little of cutting my decal as I can. It's already trimmed here for the servo, so I just cut it canal right here, you know, and push my lead down into it and get it down where that, you know, the servo won't have no way of hitting it. And then come right up here and just kind of go right along the edge of that cover. But my hole, my hole, my hole, I've got about more than, more than a quarter of an inch thickness right there to work with. So I think, I think I can do it with that same type of bulb. Same type of bulb, let's get my green one out here. Same type of bulb. It's gonna be able to see it from one side and the other. So in order for my lead to be coming out right here, the point of the hole is gonna be right there. Same as this point right here 
is what I'm saying. It's going to be right where I want to be at that corner where that lead go right straight down through there. And making my hole and that oblong shape. Now I'm not cutting all the way through pots. I'm just kind of making a, 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 a draft right here. And remember, I've got to make one side bigger to get the light in there. See, going a little bit off right there. But that's going to be cut out. I'm not worried about that. All right. Okay. So I've got a good shape there. I might try to make it just a little bit bigger. And I'm trying to cut all the way through now. Yep, my blade's going all the way through. Trying to keep that blade straight as I can. Not cut me. Back down here. Oh. Uh, like I said. I've got to square this off now. I have no lines to show me anything, but I remember on the last one, it went all the way back to the edge of where my oval was. Because note where my bulb is here and how much room is gonna be back behind the oval. So if the bulb is gonna be simply right here in this center, the right back side of that oval is gonna be right up against the back side of that little piece of silicone. I've got to square that off, and I'm going to try to make my 45 at the top here where I have the least room. A little bit thicker down here than it is up here. So I'm going to make that 45. I'm going to try my best here to make this cut here. Right in the center. I don't want the light to go no more past the center. side just gonna be pretty much straight down so I've got to go just about all the way down to this decal having to make this one just square Cause there's no way other other way I could think of to get that bulb down in there, pilots. <laughs>
How am I going to get that big square base down into this little oval hole? <laughs> Shazam! My magic wand didn't work. <laughs> okay, pilots, that's all I can do. Now on this side here, it's down into a 45 degree angle. This, you know, coming, unless I'm going the wrong way here. Going this way. I got my lead on the side here that I'm gonna be uh, putting it in. And that light's gonna fit right in there. I mean, right in the whole box, right in there. Taking my small screwdriver. off of that little base there. <sighs> oh, excuse me. And I'm going to make my slit. But I've got to go on this side, this side, this side of that spar because I don't want my lead to get down here and then I have to take my lead and go over the top of the spar. So my lead is going to be on this side of the spar. Yep. Decal, here I come. Sure, I'm on that side of the spot. <laughs> and cut. Go straight across right there. Straight down right there. Side. I'm gonna make it on the inside cut there just to make sure. I'm gonna spread this out a little bit around my cover. And I'm gonna turn my blade around to where I got that flat side so I won't come up here and accidentally cut my lead. Exact a window. Make make my channel a little bit wider here. Tear up too much. Now, like I said, pilots wants that lead. Lead gets put down in there. That that foam, kind of. Now, if you wait till tomorrow and do it, now you know you might have to do this right step right here again. Just, just kind of ease it down through there. Believe me, it makes it easier. You try to get that lead down in there, or just a just a razor blade cut. You know, well, good luck. Have fun. But I didn't even have to use the screwdriver to push it down in there, folks. And the, the bulb is right dead center of the hole. Right in the hole, right in the hole. I want to make sure the bubs will, will clear the cover. Okay. Make sure the bub will clear the cover because the cover, I've come up with a plan on the cover is to use just a, a flat piece of plexiglass or, you know, plastic cockpit glass and I cut it in that a weird shape there and I'm gonna glue it on there okay. and then I'm gonna take a black sharpie and just make a black edge around it like it's got a rim around it so it won't look so bad there okay. but that's gonna cover that up there 
I might even take, if, if a Sharpie don't mess nothing up, I might take the Sharpie. Heck, I might even take a blue one with it. When it goes up against that green, it might change the color. But I might, might take some paint, maybe, and touch that green up inside there to keep that green silicone from showing up so bad back behind it after I put the cover on it. But I'm not going to bore you with the putting the lead through. You, you get the picture. But I'm going to have to put an extension on this one to get it all the way up to the cockpit, I believe. Yeah, yeah. But there it is, pilots. That's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. I believe it's going to look good. And what I might do, pilots, instead of putting landing lights in the wings or in the in, in some place, somewhere, you know what I mean, you know? I mean, that's got a plastic cover right there. I mean, I could put them right there and replace that plastic cover with an LED cover. I mean, that's all I have to do. See? But I, I don't think I'm gonna do that. What I think I'm gonna do is I believe I'm gonna order another front landing gear strut light and put one single light on the front strut. And I'm going, like I said, I got, I had two of these LED sets for the P38. And I've got, so I've got two, I'm looking for them, here they are. I've got two landing lights. See? But when you order that landing light, you, you know, you put on the strut, it, it already comes with a light and everything. See? So I've got these two extras, on, and when I get up my flight line P38, I'll have another light, and plus I've got the landing light cover from ordering that other landing or LED cover set, so I've got my other landing light ready to go in. Okay. So I'm set up on LEDs for my P38 whenever it gets here. But there they are, pilots. So all I got to do is do finish touching. Finish touching. Put the red lights in. You seen the video before where I had my cockpit ready. I got the red lights in the original place that's on the plane. And does not strobe. I didn't I didn't put a strobing in it. And I had the lights in the cockpit, you seen it. So I gotta get busy, Pops. I'm out.